Hello friends. So today we're going to read some stories from our Highlights High Five magazine called Vamos a Leer. Let's read. So the first story that we're going to read is going to be in Spanish and it's called Cuervo y Pavo Real. Un cuento tradicional de Tailandia. Escrito por Lana Krumwevi y ilustraciones por Uma Kish and Swami. Hace mucho tiempo, cuando el mundo era nuevo, todos los pájaros tenían las plumas blancas. Un día, Pavo Real se cansó de tener las plumas blancas. ¿Me pinta las plumas? le preguntó. Pavo Real a su amigo Cuervo. Sí, claro, dijo Cuervo. Y después, tú me las pintas a mí. Cuervo pintó y pintó. Empezaba a tener hambre. Pero Pavo Real quería más colores. Así que Cuervo siguió pintando. Le rugía el estómago, pero Pavo Real quería manchas. Así que Cuervo le seguía pintando. Por fin... Pavo Real estaba contento con sus hermosas plumas de colores. Ahora te pintaré a ti, le dijo a Cuervo. Cuervo agarró una lata de pintura negra y le dijo, Usa esta pintura y por favor apúrate, tengo mucha hambre. Pavo Real se apuró a pintar a Cuervo de negro. Y Cuervo salió volando a buscar su cena. Desde entonces, los cuervos tienen las plumas negras y todos los pavos reales tienen las plumas de colores. A pavo real todavía le gusta presumir y Cuervo siempre anda buscando comida. Qué linda historia. Okay, friends, so now we're going to read another story. And this is a shorter story, and it's also going to be in Spanish, and it's called Mira el Mapache. Si ves un animal que parece llevar una máscara, es posible que sea un mapache. Las crías de mapache tienen unas 10 semanas de edad. Ya pueden salir a buscar comida con sus mamás. Si encuentran algo rico para comer, lo sujetan con sus garras y se la comen. Esta historia habla un poco sobre el mapache y de dónde viven y, comen, y cómo comen sus comidas. Y al lado también tenemos um, una ilustración de cómo tú puedes hacer tu propio sombrero. So, aquí están las direcciones. Si pausan en esta parte del video, pueden seguir las instrucciones y hacer su propio sombrero hecho por hoja. So, también puede hacer esa actividad. All right, friends. So, now after reading in Spanish, we're going to read a couple of readings in English. And this story is called Shh. And it is by Marjorie M. Pierce. And the art is drawn by Wilson Ong. Dried up leaves move on the ground. Shh, look what I found. A tiny brown toad, now still as can be. Don't be afraid, toad. It's only me. And in this story, we have rhyming words. Can you find what were the rhyming words in this story? I'll give you a second to think. So some of the rhyming words were ground and found. Those two words had the, sa uh, had the same sound at the end. Ground, found. And there's another rhyming word, which is also be and me. 
You see how they have the same ending sound? B and me. So that was a very nice reading that had rhyming words. And we can also read the other story that's right next to this one, which is called The Adventures of Spot. And it is by Marileta Robinson and art by Ron Zom. Spot likes to play outside. He likes to run. He likes to dig. He likes to roll. But when he's tired, a lap is best. So those are some of the things that dogs do, right? They like to play outside, they love to run, they love to dig, they love to roll. But when they're done doing all those adventures, they like to lay down on their owner's lap. Okay, friends, and the last story, the last reading we're going to read is called Ready for Winter. And it's by Marianne Mitchell and art by Paula Becker. Isabel was helping dad clean up the garden. She saw a squirrel run up and down a tree. What is the squirrel doing? Asked Isabel. She's hiding nuts to eat this winter, said dad. Isabel looked up. A flock of noisy geese flew by. What are the geese doing, she asked. They're flying south to warmer places, said Dad. When Dad put his garden tools away, a mouse scurried under the shed. What is the mouse doing, asked Isabel. He's making a warm nest, said Dad. Dad gathered some firewood. What are you doing, asked Isabel. You'll see, said Dad. Inside, Dad built a crackling fire. I see, said Isabel. We're getting ready for winter, too. So Isabel's dad gathered a pile of wood to be able to make their home more cozy and warm, especially in the winter time, right? Because in the winter, it gets pretty cold. The last reading we're going to read today is called Look at the Raccoon. Look at the Raccoon. It's a little short story. If you see an animal that looks like it's wearing a mask, you may be looking at a raccoon. A hollow spot in a tree is a safe place for a young raccoon. When raccoons are about 10 weeks old, they begin to hunt for food with their mothers. When they find something good to eat, they pick it up with their paws and eat it. So that's a picture of a raccoon. And this story tells us a little bit of how raccoons look like, right? They look like they're wearing a mask. And they also explain that they live in a tree and they also say that when they're 10 weeks, they hunt for food with their mothers. So it's a good story to get to know a little bit more about raccoons. And on the other page, next to this one, there's an activity where you can, where they give you directions on how you can make a paper hat. So you can pause on this part of the video and follow the instructions so you can make your own newspaper hat which I think is awesome. And that is all for our story time today, friends. I hope you all enjoyed story time. I will see you soon. I love you.